Today is a tribute to T.C. Steele and the whole plein air art movement. Plein air is, a, is the art of paint, artists who paint outside in the plein air, in the open air. It's the right thing for me and it's the right thing for many artists because you see color. You can see color better than if I were to just take a photograph and paint from a photograph in a studio. I decided, you know, I'd come from Ohio here and, and just, just to give my tribute to the, the movement and to T.C. Steele and the other Indiana plein air painters. Today is a little bit different because we have a time structure. We can start at seven and we have to be set up for judging at two, which really means you need to stop between one and 1.30 depending upon how ready you are to, to set it up on an easel. And that's basically it. You just sit and paint outside no matter what the elements are. I mean, it may seem silly to people to see when there's all this other nature out here that I'm sitting painting a flower in a pot, but it's just what caught my attention, so I thought, okay, then that's what you need to paint, so I set myself up here. I really enjoy the solitude of it, and I love the reflections with the water lilies. So, it's just a personal choice. There's so many great places to paint here. I'm out to have fun. Winning would be wonderful. <laughs> but there's that camaraderie that, um, is a support system in many ways. So I, I enjoy that very much. The whole idea of, uh, of painting outdoors really came about in the 19th century when they started to make paint in tubes so you could actually carry it outside. Before that, you couldn't leave the studio. You just had to maybe make sketches and come back to the studio because all paint was made in a studio and it wasn't transportable. So the whole idea of Impressionism came about then because it, the painters were they didn't actually even call them paintings, they called them impressions. Part of the idea was you would go out and you try to capture the light, that moment as it exists in the environment. You know, it's pretty intimidating. Uh, it's a little bit like playing company baseball game in Yankee Stadium. But, uh, <laughs> um, you know, hopefully there's some karma from Mr. Steele and, and his wife and, and the people that painted here before us that can can rub off and inspire us to do um, to do great work. Actually, when I sat down here to do this, there was a lot of beautiful light, and that's one of the challenges of plein air painting is that you have to you have to chase it, or it's going to chase you. <laughs> so I'm hoping it comes back here in a few minutes. The first time I ever plein air painted right here on location was TC Steel. That was the first the first uh, year I actually got out and did it on location and it was just so much fun. It's, um, it's been going on for a long time and just artists can come out and enjoy the day and almost like life in the day of T.C. Steele, only a, a few more artists here and there, but uh, yeah, it's fun. A lot of trails, things like that. You can. You can get away from it, you can be in the middle of it, you can enjoy the nature, or you can, yeah, it's pretty awesome that they're able to share that. It's always fun to engage with a group of people and see the works that everyone's created um, in one space. It's beautiful right now, just there's a touch of fall and uh, we can capture that. But uh, I love Indiana subject matter in general. I mean, I paint wherever I travel. I paint whether it's Maine or New Mexico or Florida. But I feel so at home as a Hoosier, at home just here in our landscape. The green, the, the beauty everywhere. Really, painting is a meditation where you just get into what you see and talk about it with your medium. As you stand here, you see some pretty amazing things like birds, sometimes the eagle will fly by, um, beautiful herons, and other stimuli that make you feel really, really good about the environment. I have painted buildings in the past, and TC did too, but today was gonna be a beautiful nature day.
if um, you don't stop and look at it, you quit seeing it. So this forces you to really concentrate and have a new appreciation, a daily appreciation when you're painting for what is.